As developers, we often need to mock APIs to enable development and testing of services in isolation. In microservice environments, interdependent services are very common and difficult to manage. Mocking APIs help make front-end and other services independent on non-production environments. Various mock server tools are available on the internet, but Requestly simplifies the process of mocking. It also isolates the mocks completely, meaning there's no need to alter any services, not even the hostname. When it comes to GraphQL APIs, the challenges differ. The API endpoint remains same, only the request body changes. We'll explore how GraphQL APIs can be mocked using Requestly. Let's consider an example where we have a GraphQL API and want to create a mock for it. We'll start by creating a mock API and name it Product Listing API Mock. We have the flexibility to choose any method, change the status code, set the content type, and even add latency. For now, we'll maintain the default. We'll use products as the endpoint name. In the response body, we begin with data and insert some product details, such as ID and name. We can similarly add other products. After defining the standard response for our product listing API, we click on the Create button. Once the mock is created, we have the option to use the API's endpoint by clicking the Copy Link button. We can configure this mock URL in our application to use the mock API instead of actual API. However, doing so would require changing the hostname. To eliminate this step, we'll use the redirect request rule. In redirect request, we input the URL that our application is attempting to access, such as graphqlapi.example.com. We're also developing a feature to allow filtering based on the operation name and its value or other parameters from the GraphQL query. This is especially useful as the endpoint remains the same for all GraphQL APIs, with variations only in the operation names. This filter will be located just below the IF REQUEST feature, enabling us to filter requests accordingly. Next, we select Pick from File or Mock Server and choose the API mock we just created. By saving the rule, it will direct all API calls to GraphQL, api.example.com to serve the specified response. Once we introduce an additional filter for the operation name, we'll be able to redirect a particular operation to this mock. That concludes our video. I hope you got enough idea about how Requestly makes working with GraphQL APIs straightforward. Let us know how Requestly helps you. We love to hear your success stories.